we get really conflicting messages around spicy time and love and it's probably one of the number one things I see sabotage a relationship. I've seen this with clients, myself, friends, colleagues. So I learned growing up from my mother that in order to receive approval, I had to do what she wanted. I also learned by observing her relationship with my stepdad that love was dangerous. And I was told by her that you have spicy time when you're in love. So I would often pick emotionally, mentally, and sometimes even physically unsafe partners. I would do what they wanted and I perceived that as love. My friend and fellow coach, Melissa, learned from her mother she had to perform in order to receive praise. All men wanted was spicy time, and spicy time equaled this loving bonding experience. So she would perform for partners and assume afterward that there would be this loving bond that wasn't innately there. These are just two examples of how this played out. Look at what you learned and observed of love what you were told about spicy time, and then see how that converged together to create patterns of what you have experienced in your relationship or assumptions you've made of how a relationship will grow and flourish based on that. When we look at these things and understand what, what we've experienced and why, we can then start to investigate what do you want instead? If we understand that spicy time can be one of many avenues for building intimacy within a relationship, but it is not the end all be all, then what does intimacy look like to you? Doing this, you're gonna stop putting pressure on relationships or creating expectations, and it's gonna help you understand what you really want to experience within a relationship, what you need to feel intimate and safe with a partner. If you're ready to learn how to develop healthier relationships to love, intimacy, spicy time, then I highly encourage you to check out Unleash. It starts on May 8th.